dear students let us learn how to solve this question the above equation balances when we have given an equation with the coefficients that means we need to balance the equation and find the values of this coefficient a b c etc now to balance this they have not specified any method it's your wish you can apply anything i'll just uh, do this uh, balancing by using oxidation number method that's very simple so this is a given equation just find the oxidation number of the central atom in kmno4 mn is the central atom its oxidation number will be plus 7 using crisscross method the oxidation number of each chromium even though there are two chromium atoms are there we find oxidation number only for one particular atom therefore it must be plus 3 what is in medium again h2cr2o7 the chromium oxidation state will be plus 6 Similarly, the oxidation number of Mn will be plus 2 and uh, H2SO4 is a acidic medium and K2SO4 is byproduct. We need not consider that. Now, just find out how many electrons are changing during oxidation and reduction. Now, from Mn plus 7 to Mn plus 2, there is a decrease in oxidation number. Decrease in oxidation number, we call it as reduction reduction how many electrons are changing here also 1 mn 1 mn from plus 7 to plus 2 the number of electron change will be 5 electron similarly let us consider chromium chromium was in plus 3 now it is getting converted into plus 6 increase in oxidation number is nothing but oxidation this is oxidation how many electrons are changing 3 from plus 6 to plus sorry plus 3 to plus 6 will be 3 this is for one chromium on both the sides we have 2 2 chromium therefore multiply this with 2 so we get 6 6 electrons we know the thumb rule that in any redox reaction the number of electron change during oxidation and reduction should be same here we have 6 here you have 5 how do we balance this equation wherever chromium is there you multiply by 5 and wherever mn is there you need to multiply by 6. Therefore, multiply this with 5 and this with 6. So that both the sides, the number of electron becomes equal. Now, you rewrite the equation. We get, you need to multiply by 6. 6 kmno4. 6 kmno4 plus 5 Cr2SO4 thrice. Cr2SO4 thrice plus H2 giving raise to 5 H2 Cr2 O7 plus H2 SO4 plus H2 SO4 plus 6 Mn SO4 plus 6 Mn SO4 plus K2 SO4. So, this is the equation. Now, in this equation, we have balanced two elements that is 6 manganese and 6 manganese and uh, 5 to 10 chromium and 10 chromium. Remaining elements, we need to balance it. I will start with potassium. There are 6 potassium. Here, there are only 2. To get 6, multiply this with 3. Now, potassium got balanced. Now, I will start with sulfate ion. See, you need not consider this oxygen and this oxygen together. That leads to a lot of uh, complication. To avoid that, I will consider how many sulphate groups are there. SO4, SO4 groups are there. Now, in each Cr2 SO4 thrice, we have 3 sulphate. 3 into 5 will be 15. 15 sulphate, ion, uh, sulphate groups are there. Now, on the product side, 3, 3 plus 6, 9 are there and this is 10. So, how much we need? We need 15. So, therefore, I will multiply this with 6 now. So, that the number of sulphate group gets balanced. Look at this now. 6 sulphate, 6 sulphate, 12. 12 plus 3 will be 15. So, now the number of sulphate groups got balanced. Now, let's move on to hydrogen and oxygen separately. Now, I will count the number of hydrogen now. 5 twos are 10. 10 plus uh, 12. 
10 plus 12 will be 22 hydrogen atoms are there. 22 hydrogen on the product side. On the reactant side only 2 are there. To get 22, I will multiply this with 11. So, number of hydrogen atoms will be equal to 11. 11 twos are 22. Now, look at the number of oxygen. We should not consider from here. So, therefore, 6 fours are 24 oxygen. 24 plus 11. 24 plus 11 will be 35. And look at here, we, we should not consider this, this and this. So, we left with 5 sevens are, 5 sevens are 35. Again, the number of oxygen also got balanced. So, this is how we can find the coefficients easily by oxidation number method. You can apply any method. I think this is the simplest uh, one. So, look at the coefficients. What is the answer now? The coefficients are nothing but 6, 5, 11, 5, 6, 6 and 3. I am writing in the same order. So, this is the answer. So, let us come back to the question and see what is the answer. 6, 5, 11, 5, 6, 6 and 3. Therefore, the answer is B. So, thank you.